Hey everyone, during this video, I'm going to talk about Synthroid. So Synthroid, this is my prescription of 75 micrograms per day. Just give you an idea as to what it looks like. Just a little blue tab. Uh, instructions for taking, just take it essentially with water. It doesn't matter if you take it with water or food. I like taking it in the morning, but it doesn't really matter if you take it morning, night, or with food or without food. It's just very simple for me. In the morning, after brushing my teeth, I have my supplement stack, some vitamin D, some other stuff, and includes my one tablet of Synthroid. What Synthroid promises is to help you with hypothyroidism. So if you're somebody that suffers from underactive thyroid, then this may be a me medication that could help you out. And some symptoms of this just mean, just maybe like um, low levels of energy, low sex drive, essentially feeling fatigued a little bit too early. So if you, if you can typically work five to six hours before you get tired, if you have an underactive thyroid, you'll maybe be able to work two to three hours and then you just want a nap or you feel kind of exhausted. These are all some signs that it may be worth checking out, uh, getting a blood test and seeing what your numbers are. So the three numbers you'll get from a blood test would typically be your, your T3, your T4, and your TSH. So Synthroid is going to work on your T4 levels and a lot of endocrinologists believe that your T4 levels matter more than your T3 levels and um, your T4 is gonna conversely just affect the other two and it's gonna affect your TSH. Um, from my experience with it, I don't like it at all. I would rate it a two out of 10. It, and the only reason I'm rating it two instead of zero is it's a little bit, it's bumped up my T4 numbers slightly, although nothing significant, and I don't feel better using it. But currently, my um, the usual prescription I take, which is Cytomel, we just essentially don't have. It's nowhere in stock here in Canada. I've checked out five or six pharmacies, and they're on back order for for it. So I'm usually taking 50 micrograms of Cytomel. I'm not taking any, and, and usually not taking any Synthroid, but Synthroid is just what I have to use temporarily until we have it in stock. But there's, um, um, just out of out of curiosity, I've, I've do, done some homework on it, and it's one of the most prescribed medications actually in in the U.S. There's over 121 over 121 million prescriptions annually, and now doctors are actually um, they're actually against prescribing it because there's a lot of research showing that Synthroid actually doesn't work as much as they thought it did. So I'm curious to know what's working for you if you're somebody that is fighting hypothyroidism or if you're taking a lot of medication. Is Synthroid working? Um, if it's not working, what else have you been doing? And what's your experience with T3? Since there's research now starting to show that T3 actually works better than T4 for, for about 10 to 20% of the population. So if you're somebody that is taking Synthroid and not noticing good results from it, there is hope there are other medication out there. And um, it's something that hopefully we can we can solve for you and I can get solved too. So hope that was helpful guys. Um, if, if your hypothyroidism issues aren't solved then again it may just be worth trying an adjustment and if you're somebody that is really just fatigued or tired throughout the day it could be worth checking out your um you know just getting your blood work checked either get your thyroid checked or your levels of testosterone and that may um may just open your mind to some medication or nootropics that could definitely help you out in the future and i'll see you all next time